Hi Dalin. Um, welcome back. My name is Ezekiel Walker and I'm the founder of Mictagon Snails. I want to show you how we want to transform a field snail farm project. And um, it's interesting to note that people are actually putting in a lot of money to, to invest in snail farming, but they are not giving their money to the right set of people so when they give their money to people that talk too much stories and do not have a farm the farm starts to fail but today we are here to transform this old snail farm and i would like you to join me all right just share so that a lot of people can see what we are doing in the snail industry and um, they can equally transform the abandoned snail farm let's go okay let's go all right guys you need to save this video you need to share so that you won't miss this point take a look at this farm look at how massive it is see how massive it is they have mortalities in drones this farm was stocked with ten thousand snails and um, three months down the line they kept having mortality over and over and over again and today um, eight months down the line, they have less than 500 snails on this snail pen. But it's all well and good. We'll be restoring the glory of this snail farm. And that is what we are here to show you on this snail farm. But first, if you look outside, you'll see that these are loamy soil, dark loamy soil. Alright, so what exactly is wrong with this project? Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you follow our, our channel and make sure you share this post so that more people can learn and they don't trade with their money see first let's look at all this take a look at this these are empty snail shells look at this empty snail shells they are all baby snails you see they are all it means that both babies both adults both juveniles kept dying let's go inside let's see what's going on if you look at the setup i'm very sure you'll be familiar with what you see on youtube you know who did this setup but you know unfortunately all the snails kept dying and i had to bring back the glory so the first thing we need to address is that we are embracing technology to help us and we are not just doing some guesswork so the first thing we do is to install this what is this this is a thermometer so first you take a reading of your pen all right so the first thing we do is to install a thermometer if i look at this very well this is 35 degrees wow 35 degrees that's pretty hot that's pretty hot and that may actually be part of the reasons why the snails are dying right so snails they thrive within a temperature of 23 degrees celsius to 28 degrees celsius so we have to find a way to drop down our 34 35 degrees to something around 27 25 degrees celsius and that's it now if you look at this side you can see that this whole place is open this whole place is open so if you look at it straight down this whole place is open this is the direction of sunset sunrise from that area and sunset here so give it this is around 4 pm give it something around 6 pm you see the rays of the sun will cast into the pens what that implies is that the pens at the direction where the sun rays set or where the sun rays right the temperature there will be hotter all right so you have to ensure two key factors two key factors are kept at optimum one your temperature two your humidity temperature is really how hot or how cold the pens are right why the humidity is the amount of moisture in the open or in the environment so you have to ensure that your pen is not too hot so that your snails won't die and you have to ensure that your humidity is high so that everywhere will be cold so i will keep you posted on transforming this whole place then i also want to show you the pens all right so if you take a look at this pen right here you will see that the pens are in cubicles you have to ensure that we actually create more space within a pen so the snails can move around so now we have room and parlor for this news instead of just room that's interesting right and um, that's what you bring on board but most importantly like i told you you'll be amazed at how well we are transforming 
this nail pen. You know, I showed you one side of the pen that there will be rays of sunlight each time the sun sets. Now look at this side of the pen. We've addressed that. So tomorrow when the sun rises, rays of sun won't be casting on the pen. So it means that the temperature of the pen won't be rising. But I will show you how well we are optimizing that. Let's continue. How do we infuse tech into snail farming? Hmm? This is smart farming. At least you, you have access to data, right? Now this is another thermometer that equally takes precise readings of the temperature very close to the snail pen, right? Now this is somewhere around 33 degrees Celsius and it's simple. All we need to do is that at 33 degrees Celsius, we just activate our sprinklers. It sprinkles water and the water comes down. I mean, this farm is massive. This farm is massive. And just like you can hear the background, we are doing a whole lot of things around it. Now, this is another technology we've embraced in snow farming. This is an hygrometer. We call it humidity monitor. It's an hygrometer. It actually takes reading of the humidity. So if you look at this, this in percentage is the readings for humidity. This is 54%. If I'm not mistaken, beautiful. 54%. It shows that the relative humidity in the total pens or in this old snail pen is 54%. Why the temperature is 33.7 degrees Celsius. So we have good data that we are working with. It is not guesswork. So snail farming has grown beyond guesswork. And what we are bringing to this farm, like we do at NG Snails, is to actually infuse technology into sustainable agriculture. So we want to make this farm self-sustainable and at the same time have handful of tech. Basically, it is dry season and if you look at these drums, you will see water in these drums. This is another good way for you to drop the temperature during dry season. You have drums filled with water, then you fill it with plantain trunk. Plantain trunk are still those stems that can absorb water. So if you look at it now, this this old this old um, this old basin was filled with water, but the water evaporated. So it means that the heat that ought to be getting to the snails are being absorbed by the water, right? So if I just show you around, you see this water too. Then we also have this plantain this plantain stem. You see that although the plantain stem is cut, but it still seems like it looks like the plantain stem is growing. Huh? But no, it's not growing. It's not it's because of the water. It's because of the water. And um like I told you earlier, we are embracing a handful, so it is synergy between technology and sustainable agriculture to improve the practice of breeding snails or to improve snail farming. So rather than setting up massive snail pen like this and experiencing a handful of casualties, why not just reach out to us via our website www.ngsnails.com or you can send us a message on WhatsApp via plus two three four eight zero seven eight six three hundred four three i'll take that again plus two three four eight zero seven eight six three hundred four three let's do snails like i used to tell you make sure that you are doing snails right make sure that you reach out to people that have a working farm at ng snails we understand the criteria for farming snails and we bring in infusion of technology to make snail farming an easy one i mean we have a lot of market for us to serve and we can't just keep getting it wrong let's do snails snails to the world 